Okay, so I'm going to walk you through setting up the structure for all of the classes um, <clears throat> on the new website here. So I'm logged into the WordPress admin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to classes. So we've really got two things set up, courses and classes, and hopefully this matches kind of the way that you guys um, refer to your training uh, classes. But the courses are really kind of the description of the type of different classes you offer. The classes themselves are the actual scheduled date and time, um, and then they fall into a, one of these categories. So I'll, if we go over to courses first, I'll show you kind of um, what I already have set up. And um, it actually looks like you've been uh, in here working on this already, so um, that's good. Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe you guys kind of already figured this out, but I'll still go through it anyway. Just I might be reiterating what you've already learned. Um, it looks like you have the structures set up appropriately here. So, yeah, it just kind of, uh, there's like a category and then a subcategory relationship here. Um, safety training was the ones I set up, but um, confined, confined space training is a course that falls with under the main category of safety training. And then these courses here are kind of subcategories of confi confined space training. So you've got that all set up uh, correctly here. This is all looking good so awesome um, if we just jump into any one of these and edit it um, I'll just explain where these different elements show up although it kind of looks like you may have figured that out already too actually I did this one so um, the uh, the slug is just the URL it basically auto generates based off the name you could change this if you wanted to um, if you wanted this to be like a longer description um, keeping nice clean URLs is always beneficial um, that are, you know, a good description. So, like, let's just say you wanted this to say confined space training, you know, and then in parenthesis put something, you know, like a, a little bit longer description, keeping the slug here to a nice, you know, like three words or whatever with the spaces between is, is a good way to go. Um, you can set up the parent course. Um, this description is a short little blurb that's going to show up when these show up in a list. So if we go to the safety training page, it shows all of the subcategories underneath safety training and shows the title and it shows this description. So it's a short little blurb. Um, this is what will show up on the actual page. So when we go to the safety training page, this blurb will show up if they click on this actual um, course, uh, the, the learn more button or whatever that clicks over to this actual page then they'll get this. So this is kind of a, a much more in-depth um, description. And we're not using the archive headlines, so no need to worry about that. Um, this is just for SEO stuff, um, so that you can actually put like a custom title and description um, of the page on there. Um, these should probably be copied over from the main site. And if that's, you know, if that's something you um, know how to do, um, great. In fact, I'm going to show you how to do it. But it's also something that I can take care of before we launch the site too. So um, if you're already on the page and, and it's easy enough to grab, um, great. If not, then I can go back to do it. So in this case, um, I'm now on the confined space training page. If I right click, I can um, select view page source. And this is all the actual HTML code that makes up that page. So kind of, a lot of stuff to weed through, but if you know what you're looking for, it's easy to find. And what we're looking for here is the meta title and the meta description. Uh, keywords are pretty much irrelevant, so there's no need to even bring those over. It doesn't even look like they're being used here, which is totally fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the text that falls under, you know, in here under the meta description content. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to go here and hit paste, and I'm going to do the same thing for the title. And the reason that we want to keep these the same, I mean, they can always be changed later. That's easy enough to do, but since this is the page that is indexed with Google, and we're going to eventually tell Google that this page either points to this new URL or if the URL is being exactly the same, which I think they will be in this case. Um, that it, they won't be seeing new metadata that will 
either confuse them or, or cause them to have to kind of re-index or re-rank the page. Ideally, they'll see a little bit different coding because it's a new design, but the important stuff, the content, is all the same, including the metadata. So um, the last thing is this image here. This is the image that I'm actually going to go ahead and open up the dev site to. And so if I go to safety training, um, here's that little blurb we were talking about. This is that image that I uploaded. Now, I just grabbed a few, you know, random images. Um, it looks like you guys are already adding these to a few random images that were already in there. They probably don't necessarily relate, although it looks like you may have changed this out already. Um, the problem here is that these are all super low resolution images, as you can see, so they're being pixelated. So ideally, what we need to do is upload higher resolution versions of these, but that picture associated with it is gonna show up here, and then also end up being the background page in the header. And um, so that is the purpose of this image. It's kind of the, uh, the associated image that'll be used elsewhere. So um, yeah, these small sized images, whoops, that. these small sized images are gonna, we're gonna really wanna try and find something that's a lot larger, and a lot higher resolution for those. Um, so hopefully, that is helpful in getting all of this set up. And then when you go over to classes, boy, you guys are you guys are really plugging away at this. So it looks like you kind of got this figured out already as well. Um, but yeah, this is the this is what eventually, as you drill down to one of these courses, um, let's see what where we have something combined space train the trainer. Let's look at that one. So um, these classes are gonna show up here just like you got them. And so it's my job to get these registration uh, figured out. So here, this is the key, um, is there's two bits of information that are gonna be transferred over um, with these classes. And so you can decide what you want to see, but this title that you're putting, I'm just gonna go edit this one. So whatever you put here and whatever you put here gets transferred over when they hit register. This is just one form. We're not creating a ton of different forms. There's one registration form. Okay, sorry, I had a little technical difficulty there for a second. Um, this form here um, is going to, this, this information is generated dynamically, and it's important. So this will tell you when you get a registration, this, will, this is gonna tell you what class they're registering for. So if this information is exactly as you wanna receive it, perfect. If you need to receive anything different than this, as the telling you what class, then you'll need to change how you list this, the excerpt will show up below the class. Um, so if you wanted to simplify this or add more information, put other information here, it's totally up to you guys. Um, it really looks like you've already kind of got this nailed down and figured out. But um, I guess this is maybe just a nice confirmation that you're doing everything correctly. Um, yep, which course it applies to. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm going to send this over to you.